Back with you now at 1140, and it's time to dig into Celebrity Snack with our friends at TMZ. There are Tim's friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to combine those two words. Anyway, joining us now with today's biggest Hollywood headlines is Jacob Wasserman. Jacob, good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. This is Sydney Sadik. She's guest hosting today. I'm going to make sure you all nice meet, to meet, get acquainted you. here. So let's jump right in. Uh, Britney Spears saying that she posts nudes as an act of freedom, if you will, or self-empowerment. Do tell. It, it, exactly. So this was an excerpt from her new book, The Woman and Me, which actually comes out tomorrow. And this was obtained by the New York Times. And in her book, she addresses a lot of the nude photos that she's been taking and posting on Instagram over the past several months. And a lot of people have found this to be concerning and uh, a reason for, for maybe, uh, or to, to raise caution, I should say. Uh, but Brittany says, listen, if you've taken photos as much as I have, if you've taken thousands of photos and people have told you how to pose and how to present yourself in front of the camera, this is actually a very liberating experience. Uh, she says it maybe in slightly different words, but that's the nutshell here. Uh, this is, again, one of the many excerpts that have been released ahead of Britney's book, which seems to go all in on her relationship with her family or her conservatorship and things like social media and so much more. Yeah. Uh, a quick question, uh, Jacob. We were talking about this off the top, kind of like the purpose of these memoirs. What's the end game here? Do you think this is going to do more damage than good to, for Britney Spears? I think money talks. Yeah. And right now, the book is on the top of the bestseller charts on Amazon, and it seems like a lot of people are really excited to read this book. In fact, I can't remember the last time a memoir has gotten this much buzz. And you also have to consider that Britney doesn't really make music anymore. Uh, she doesn't make public appearances. This book seems like the biggest thing she's done in a very long time. So I, I don't think it's going to take much of a negative hit on her. I was just thinking, you know, most celebrities, when they release a book, they do have personal appearances. They're going on shows, promoting, mm -hmm. they're hosting fan meet and greets. We're not hearing anything like that from Britney, correct? Yeah, well, we've actually been told that she has completely shut down all public appearances and all media. Uh, there was rumors that she was going to be on 60 Minutes or maybe do a sit down with Oprah Winfrey. But we're told Britney rejected all of those. In fact, uh, one of the few quotes I've seen from Britney in the past few days was an interview she did with People magazine. But we're actually told those responses were made via email. So even going on the phone seems a little bit hesitant for her. Wow, well, this is not surprising. But in other celebrity news, John Stamos was claiming that he caught his girlfriend cheating with Tony Tanza in his new book. I mean, what's that about? It's all coming out through memoirs, I guess. <laughs> but this is another excerpt that's coming out through John Stamos' upcoming book where he details a crazy story. So this happened in the, in the 1980s, pre-Full House, I should say, where Stamos was dating Terry Copley. And I guess they were together. He was really into her. And he felt like things were a little bit off. Maybe she wasn't uh, affectionate or as she used to be. So he felt like things weren't right in the relationship. And there was one day where he decided to swing by her house. It, it sounds like something out of a movie. He describes it as the door was cracked open. He yeah. goes inside, makes his way up the stairs, opens the door and finds Terry there with another man. And of course, it is absolutely gut wrenched and makes his way out of the home, stops by to notice a Porsche that's in the driveway, looks into the Porsche and sees that there's a poster, a signed poster uh, addressed to Tony. And he puts the pieces together and realizes it was Tony Danza wow. that was apparently in the bed. And, and, and while I was not alive during the 1980s, from what I've been told, Tony Danza was a pretty big deal back then. Yeah, I was yeah. going to so. say he was certainly a bigger <laughs> star at that time. That, but who asked for this? I know. One thing after the other. Yeah, right? I didn't need to know this, but uh, th thank TMI. you. No, no shade to you, <laughs> Jacob. I'm talking about the memoirs and all the nonsense. Good TMI. But you know what? One book I would be here for? Yeah. A Taylor Swift book. You know, <laughs> especially oh after gosh. her being at Travis's game yet again. What's the latest on her? I mean, she's the certified good luck charm. Every time she's gone to a Chiefs game, they've won. 
Uh, it's just incredible to see the impact she's been having on the NFL, but how she's really been able to solidify herself in this Travis Kelsey circle uh, or his, within his family and within family members of other Chiefs players. We saw her in the skybox yesterday with Brittany Mahomes, of course, Patrick Mahomes' wife, alongside Jackson Mahomes, uh, Patrick Mahomes' brother. Uh, so she's she's with all the all the families, I, I guess, hanging out at these games. It reminds me of like li my little league games when all the parents would be sitting in the stands together except this is on a way bigger scale and uh there was even a, a cute moment i should say depends who you ask where the camera <laughs> pan to uh yeah. taylor and Brittany, where they did a little handshake with each other and and a lot of people at least in the office here have taken problem with that i think it shows that these two have become pretty good friends uh and taylor is really a uh, part of this chief's community <sighs> I think that's cute, but it's also giving thirsty at this point. Listen, yeah. I was on the whole Taylor Travis train in the beginning, but now it's like I know the cameras are on me, so I'm going to perform here as well. It's a and little I like that part. for this to be so authentic. And that's really what's, that's what's going on That's a better way to put right? it, Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, thank you so much for your time and the latest on those Hollywood headlines. And remember, you can watch TMZ right here on Fox 5 at 730 right after like it or not.